This is Bernay, huh? Yeah. 21st bypassed it five days ago. They're here in Senegat now. You know, mopping up these, that town's already giving me the creeps, Kirby. Yeah, like going to funerals. What's wrong with funerals? Everything's always nice and quiet. Well, with personnel, I'll take Paris. If the crowds keep pulling back, we'll be there near the now. Yeah. Hey, did you ever see a can-can kid? A can-can? <laughs> you mean I never had any of those Sunday school picnics? <laughs> Let's go. those windows. Germans in the building. T'as combien d'Allemands la maison? Cinq. Five in there. Il ne faut pas que vous entriez dans Bernay parce que si vous entrez, vous allez tuer des innocents. Ah non, non, pas si vite. Quels innocents? Des enfants. Et puis il y a la bibliothèque. Antoine est là et moi. What's the matter? He says not to go into town because they are holding five kids in the library and the librarian and himself. Et les parachutistes, ils ont sauté hier soir et ils ont trouvé ici. It says paratroopers landed two nights ago. Oui, ils ont un radio et un télescope. It says they have a radio and a telescope. It looks as if the crowds have set up an advance observation post up there. They got a fine mezzanine seat for the entire enchilada. Perfect view of the entire battalion position. Explains the pinpoint shelling of our supply lines. Let's go and tell them the show's over. It's only five of them. It's not that simple. What about the kids? Yeah. 
That's the race in the hole. Et Paul dit au vieillard, est-ce que vous avez vu mon pauvre petit chien Il s'appelle Georges et il est perdu. Le vieillard dit, non, je n'ai pas vu des chiens. Et le pauvre Paul, il était très malheureux. Il m'a donné instructions, carefully. Then what is detaining him? He would do nothing to harm the children, especially his own grandson. But I told you, he does not speak English. When he must, a man makes himself understood. Even if you and I didn't speak English, we would understand each other. No? Please, Lieutenant, please let me speak with him too. A warning from the lips of a beautiful girl. Who would take it seriously? But I would make them see how serious it is, I promise you. You might not come back. I would lose the pleasure of your company. But if they do not understand French, they will begin to shoot again. And unfortunately, we will shoot back. Well, please, at least let, let me take the children down into the cellar. The children stay here, right here. Lieutenant, you are soldiers. The Americans are soldiers. But why should those children have to suffer? You make matters difficult for me, Fräulein. But I made my decision. Now the Americans must make theirs. It's up to them what happens. If they take this place, we'll find no one alive in it. No one. What a pity. What if I made him come back to town with the kids anyway? Well, you can't blame him, Lieutenant. He's the janitor up at the school. I guess they came back for food. How could you know the uh, paratroopers would show up? Are the kids watched all the time? Les enfants sont toujours gardés. À chaque instant, impossible de s'échapper. He says every instant, there's no chance of him getting away. Oh, quittez Bernie, je vous en prie, mes amis. Quittez Bernie, je vous en prie. He wants us to leave town, Lieutenant. Tell him to take it easy. He's safe with us. Ne vous en faites pas, n'ayez pas peur. Vous êtes en pleine sécurité avec nous. Oh, non, non, il faut que je retourne là-bas. Les Allemands m'attendent. He says he has to go back. The Germans are waiting for him. Et puis j'ai mon petit fils là-bas, n'est-ce pas? Vous connaissez les Allemands, vous savez ce qu'ils vont faire, n'est-ce pas? They have his grandson. All right, I get the message. Tell him he can go back. D'accord, vous pouvez retourner. Oh, alors vous allez quitter la ville? Well, what shall you tell the crowds, Lieutenant? Tell him we'll pull out. D'accord, les Allemands vont retirer. Et vous pouvez rentrer. Merci. Et bonne chance, hein? Merci. Lieutenant, not now, Sergeant. Let's get out of here. Let's pull back. Be careful. Idea. I don't know. I figured it'll be dark pretty soon, and maybe, maybe some of us can get in there fast enough. Get those kids out while the rest of us keep those crowds busy. You know those paratroopers are on a suicide mission. They've got nothing to lose. If those kids didn't get shot up while we were going in, they'd be dead by the time we reached them. All right, what are we going to do there? Holding an old man, a woman. And five kids. Mm, stack that up against what can happen to a lot more of us if those crowds keep tipping off their artillery. Time. Time. We need more time. Nelson, give me the chatterbox. Checkmate King 2 to Checkmate King. Over. This is for the captain, urgent. It's for you, captain. Checkmate King 2, Lieutenant Hanley. What's your problem? Five of them in Bernay? Well, what are you waiting for? Kids. Did you say kids? Yes, sir. Two civilians, an old man and a woman. A librarian. I see. I see. That's a rough one. What's your recommendation? Time? How much? A couple of hours at least, sir. We need more information. I don't know. I sympathize with those people, but you know what's at stake. Okay, I'll give you three hours, that's all. Meanwhile, I'll take it up with the old man. Let him handle this. It's too hot for me. 
Out. Get me battalion. Well, we got three hours. After it's dark, somebody's got to get into that building with a handy talkie. Get a layout of the place, flash it back. The rest of us take it from there. Well, that makes sense. You want me to go? No, you stay here. This is my idea, and I'm stuck with it. What, are you pulling rank on me? That's right. Hey, Lieutenant, why don't you take me along with you? I'm the one to speak French. I can help you. No dice. Half the time's gone. Stay glued to the other squawk box. Move under any conditions. I'll contact you when I can. Maybe someone ought to go with you. Now, you know as well as I do, this part of the operation is a one-man job. Well, uh, take care of yourself. Thanks. Drei Kilometer, 200 Meter, Direktion Nord-Nordwestlich. Bahn zwischen Bosse und Calle Le Pin, Fläche 7. Bahn zwischen Bosse et Cahiers les Pins, Fläche 7. se trouvait envahie, mais elle n'était pas vaincue. Son esprit était trop fort. Il l'avait estimée et la gloire de la France. What book is this? It is the history of our country. It is called the glorious history of France. Does this glorious history tell how German power brought France to her knees in 1870? And also in 1916? And now again? No, it is an old book. But a country's true greatness does not come from power or making war. Oh, really, Fräulein? It is, it is the beauty of its art, the influence of its philosophy. You read that in another old book? Yes? Do you think books teach you about life, real life? Poor little librarian. It is an honor for a girl of Bernay to be made librarian. Forget your books, Fräulein. Life is to be lived, not read about. I suggest you don't wait too long. That look, Fräulein. I've seen it before many times. In Czechoslovakia, Crete, Norway. And at times I've seen it on your face too. It does not become you. Willem! Willem! You want a lot, man? Come here, I. Right. 
Meister bitte heraus. Sie auch, Müller. No, no, please. All printed matter capable of arousing resistance is to be destroyed. Oh, please, Lieutenant, I beg of you not to do this. They are the only ones of their kind. So? They are irreplaceable? Not for sale? At any price? Fashionable young minds must be protected from decadent influences. Fräulein? Komm, Fräulein. There are only books. Be nothing but ashes, as you and I would be. Who knows when? Tonight, tomorrow, whenever the Americans stop being sentimental fools. If they do not attack, when will you go? In a few days. But I wouldn't count on them not to attack. Tell me, Fräulein, how long have you lived here? All my life. You never thought of leaving this dull little place to see the world? What was here for you? A man, perhaps? No. There was no one. No one and nothing, except your books and your dreams. You see, I know you, Fräulein. I thought about you a great deal. I was not unhappy. Unhappy? How did you know? 
but there is still time. A few moments, perhaps. But I wouldn't cheat myself of them. Are you cold, Fräulein? Perhaps the wine will help you. Go on. What shall we drink to? Life? Death? Or both? A true Wagnerian toast. Nicht wahr? Entschuldige Sie, Herr Leutnant, aber Wechsler will sich packen. I talk to you again later. Checkmate King 2. Come in, Badger. This is Badger. I'm in a wine shop near the place. I saw the librarian for a moment. She's hardly more than a kid herself and scared stiff. I'm going to try to get in there through a window in the cellar. Well, here's the situation at this end. The crowd shut up a convoy three miles north of here. And Topside told Captain Whitlow those paratroopers have got to go. They gave us until 2200. That's two hours. We sent Octoria a fix on the town hall, so if you get those kids out, give us a flash and I'll start shelling. But how to call, they commence firing at 2200. And it makes it pretty tight. That's the best they can do. Just keep your watch wound. Out. Badger, checkmate King 2. No, Jean. What is lost? Oh, uh, uh, les enfants sont froids et il y a des couvertures dans la cave et il veut descendre pour les chercher. Ich verstehe sie nicht. Augenblick. Sagen Sie nochmal, langsam. Uh, les enfants 
froide. Kinder? Froide. No. Repeat, no. It's bad enough I trapped myself down here without risking another man. Time's running out. We can't leave you in a spot like that. I don't want anybody else sticking his neck out. That's an order. If I'm still down here a couple of minutes to ten, I'll pistol a sentry and make a break for it before the barrage starts. Out. The kingdom is cold. The couverture. Decken? La cave. How oh, Sie haben Decken in dem Keller? Moi? Und Sie wollen Sie holen? Augenblick. Gehen Sie, aber machen Sie schnell. Ja. Merci. here was a break they hadn't counted on. They grabbed it to get more time that's costing us lives. But what about my life? You have no right to cheat me of my life. I'm trying to save it. Please do nothing. Please. Now listen to me. You're scared. So am I. If you'll only tell me where the Germans are and what no. they're doing. No. Look, you're a librarian. You can see what they do to books. If everybody felt the way you do, they'd win the war. Now those kids have got a right to live, too. No. No. Those are only words. But that's true, you know it. Now put yourself together and answer my no, questions. I can't. I can't. The soldier had to What? The soldier let me come as impatient. I must go. Wait. I'll talk to him. At least translate for me. Let me go. Listen to me. At exactly 10 o'clock, that's 27 minutes from now, our artillery has orders to wipe this place out. They cannot do that. They can, and they will. But you must stop them. It's impossible. How long did you think we'd let the crowd stay here? This joint would be rubble now if it wasn't for those children. I will tell the lieutenant. He will take his men and go. He will let us go. Yes, you do that. You tell him. And ruin whatever chances we have. Comment, qu'est-ce qu'il dit, Annette Tu vois, avec des Américains, tire ce nous à 10 heures. Il dit que tu es fou. Wo ist das Mädel und der Alte Sie sind im Keller, Herr Leutnant. Den Kindern war kalt, sie holen ein paar Decken. Wilhelm, bringe das Mädel und der Alten vom Keller. George. Mademoiselle, where are the Germans? Freund und der Alte, mach schnell! Gehen Sie hinauf!
He's dead. The old man had a knife. I tried to stop him. Thanks, man. That's mercy. Half man! What have I done? Willem is taught. Right there. Try to stop him. Yes. Thank you. You see, one never knows how long one has. Willem was young, strong, full of life. Now it's all over for him, forever. The old man's grandson. I had nothing to do with it. Why should he live to kill other Germans? One little boy's life. Can that matter to you? It matters to you? To be merciful is to be weak. We will see. Request denied, Sergeant. I'm not countermanding his order. He's in a better position than I am to call this. But he might have changed his mind, sir. We can't contact him. His radio seems to be dead. Or he is. Sit tight, Sergeant. But we've only got 14 minutes left to get in there, sir. You heard me the first time. Request denied, Sergeant. Out. Nach oben. It 
mind is foolish, no? After what has happened, I worry about my hair. Women are vain. You are no exception. Why do you wear it like that? You do not find it becoming. Prim, modest, businesslike. Appropriate for a librarian. You were right. What you said about me. I have had nothing but books and dreams. I always thought there would be time for other things. And now, when there is no time left, I realize that my life has been empty. And wasted. And I do not wish to die with such regrets. You remember the toast you met in the wine shop? Shall we drink it together before it is? Too late. Halt! Wohin gehen Sie? Es ist in Ordnung, Frau Fröhl. Wohl, Herr Leimann. your name? Does it matter? No. Only us. Could I have one more glass of wine? Please.
Different you suddenly seem. Your eyes and your lips. Only an hour ago I thought they were hard and cruel. And now? Now? Now I see you as you are. A conqueror, yes. Strong. But gentle. Sie geheilt, Liebchen. Verweigere den Befehl, ich ermorde keine unschuldigen Kinder. Shots pretty close, Lieutenant. Not me, Sergeant. Girl named Annette. Come on, let's go. Wait a minute. Where are you going? Going back to look for her. After that barrage? She didn't leave with you. She's not leaving. I want to find out for myself. Gage. Yes. Take over. Won't be long. All right, sir. to cheat her of her life. You told me she called the shots. 
There was no other way. Just think of those kids. They're alive and safe. Yeah. I guess there was no other way. Thank <laughs> you.